The cockpit on my Marin Rift Zone 2 has definitely seen some better days. The bars that were once black have now faded to a brownish gray color, and they've also gotten multiple scratches from multiple crashes over the years. But thanks to my friends at Marin, I've got some new parts to put on that will not only make it look better, but it should offer some performance upgrades as well. The first thing I'll be installing is this Marin Trail Bar. It's made from a 7000 series aluminum. It has a 30 millimeter rise, a 9 degree back sweep, and a 5 degree up sweep. It also has a 35 millimeter diameter to it, which is different than what I'm used to. So we'll find out later if there's any difference in weight savings and stiffness and just overall feel from that. This beautiful piece of CNC machined aluminum is aptly named the CNC Stem from Marin. And it's got a 35 millimeter diameter for the bars and a 35 millimeter length. And it also feels pretty light in my hand compared to just about any other stem that I've held. And finally, we've got the Marin Grizzly Grips. These are 32.25 millimeter diameter, which is kind of in the middle. Some people like skinnier grips, some people like fatter grips. This kind of is right in the middle there. And they're 143 millimeters long and they are single clamp lock-on grips. So the old parts actually feel pretty light too, but let's go ahead and get a weight on them. The old bars, we're looking at 358 grams. And we'll check out the new bars, 336. So we are saving some weight. And the old stem coming off, only 95.5 grams. The new one going on feels a little bit heavier, 127.5. I mean, if you just look at the two in comparison though, there's a lot more metal here and probably needs to be more metal for the larger bar diameter. These grips that are coming off are the Trail One Hell's Gate grips. I really do like them. They are just getting a little bit worn, uh, but they're 127 in terms of grams and new ones going on 105. So we're losing a little bit of weight on the bars, a little bit of weight on the grips, gaining a little bit on the stem. I don't think it's really gonna be anything that's noticeable on the trail, but those are the weights. One thing's for sure, everything just looks a lot better. The new black finish, that really nice looking stem, even the graphics. And when your bike looks good, you feel good about it. When you feel good about your bike, you generally seem to ride better. So let's hit the trails and see if we notice any difference in the performance. All right, so I've had a few rides now with the new cockpit set up. There's quite a few things I like about it. So we'll start with the grips. One of the things I didn't notice, ooh, that's different than usual. They did some work there. 
one of the things I didn't notice when installing it, there's a little tree icon on the grips. And if you line that up with the tree icon on the bars, then it puts the grips in their intended position. And what's cool about that is, you know, if you do that and you get that right, then there's a little notch where your thumbs go. And it just feels really good on your hands, like your thumb and that inner part of your, well, where you're the base of your thumb, essentially. So even though they're pretty much, you know, straight cylinder grips, it gives it a little more ergonomic feel to it, which I like. The grips themselves, the diameter is like a little bit smaller than what I'm used to, but it doesn't feel bad either. I'm just used to a little bit thicker of a grip. And then of course, the ability of the grips to grip is good. I kind of was expecting to not like them because they have that ridged effect on them, like little lines everywhere. And it seems like grips that do that, they like, the little ridges allow your hands to move sometimes when you don't want them to. But I wouldn't say that's the case with these. Now, when it comes to the bars and the stem, I really don't notice much of any difference with those. But that shouldn't be much of a surprise because all the technical figures, the rise, the back sweep, up sweep, are almost identical, actually maybe exactly identical to the stock bars that were on this rift zone. All right, voiceover Brian here. The GoPro lost probably 10 minutes of me going on and on about these parts. So I will summarize. Now, like I just said, the bars have a very similar geometry to what was stock on this rift zone. And, you know, to me, that's not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, that means that the stock bars that you get on the rift zone are actually really good bars. And I definitely would recommend these bars for somebody who has another style Marin bike as well. Maybe you've got a Pine Mountain or a Bobcat Trail and you want some more trail oriented bars or even, you know, Enduro style bars since these have that wider 35 millimeter diameter. The only thing that I don't really like about them, it's not necessarily the fault of the bars, but I can no longer mount my light on this. The light has a little clamp that goes on the 31.8, you know, standard size, uh, basic Amazon light, and it just won't fit on these bars. Now, going back to that 35 millimeter diameter, I don't really notice any difference with that. Uh, you know, some people say that they're more stiff. It just kind of feels the same to me. And as far as that really nice looking CNC stem goes, I don't really notice much difference there aside from the aesthetics. Uh, it is the same length as the stem that came off. So really all a stem has to do is just hold the handlebars on, fit properly and not break and make you break your face. Well, that's gonna wrap up this video. I do want to thank Marin again for sending me these parts. Uh, of course, I think I mentioned it before, but they sent them to me for free. May not have mentioned, uh, you know, they're not paying me to make this video. They are not telling me what to say or what not to say. So thank you to them for, you know, being generous and also being uh, legit and real, you know. And of course, thank you to all of you for watching this video. If you have any thoughts of your own or, you know, maybe you've tried other bars and stems, let me know in the comments. And if you got anything useful out of this video or you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe. 